right, guys, I'm looking for your input on a bit of a pickle that I find myself in. You see, recently my dad has cleaned up the back of his shop and he's throwing away a lot of stuff. It's good. If you're not using it, throw it away. The problem I have is that I'm tempted to keep a lot of it. I'd like to know your opinion. I'll walk you through the stuff that is going in the trash, that's slated to go in the trash. He told me anything I want, just take off this gooseneck trailer that he's loaded. And there's a lot of stuff that I can see future potential in, but at the same time, I don't want to be one of those guys, you know, you drive by those farms and they've just got like 40 vehicles piled out in the, in the yard and just stuff piles up. Ah, so what does that guy do? Let me know what you think. Okay, let's take a look. So this is the trailer load that's slated to the trash. First thing up, we've got a plasma cutter. Now this is an old school plasma cutter. This is the first plasma cutter I ever used in my life. It's probably 30 years old. And frankly, I don't need a plasma cutter. I've got a better one, better technology, but it's a perfectly good working tool, I think. Next up is this. This is a sheet metal notcher. Now it has been applied with a liberal coating of grease so as to prevent the blades from rusting. And I'm pretty sure this is going back in the shop because this has a 16 gauge capacity and it just seems like an incredibly useful tool for building boxes or even cutting short pieces of material. Why would you throw this out? This is a no brainer of keeping this. The next tool that he was thinking about throwing out is this, a metal cutting bandsaw. Now, Sure, it's a little bit janky, it's been out in the weather, but a little elbow grease, a little TLC, I think this thing should get going really, really well. And ultimately, to have a metal cutting bandsaw in a shop is like, yaha. Uh -huh. That, I definitely think I will keep. I can still get blades for it, everything works on it. Again, a little love and care. Yeah, I've got room for this thing. This will be a great tool to have. Now, the areas where it gets interesting, what are you doing, cat? Okay, the areas where it gets interesting are these pieces of equipment right here. Now, what these are are old airport baggage diverters. So essentially, if you have a conveyor line and the, belt, the bag's going along this way, and say straight down this line is all the East Coast flights, and there's a line that comes off of it that's the West Coast flights, well, what would happen is there'd be a barcode reader. It'd read the barcode on the bag tag and say, okay, if it's going to the East Coast, we'll let it go. If it's going to the West Coast, let's divert. And the way a lot of these diverters would work is that this is the line going to the East Coast, let it go. Oh, we need to go West Coast. This paddle here will go boom, and it would just kick the bag off. All actuated with cams in here. Now, of course, I'm not gonna be building airport baggage conveyors anytime soon, but then temptation comes in the fact that there's so much good material here. I mean, just look at this thing. Plexiglass, you could make guards or for different equipment in your shop. We've got this so Euro drive, a big heavy duty, three phase motor, heavy gearbox. My thinking with that is that if I ever wanted to build a rolling press to roll out billets of Damascus to thickness, what the hell? I've got a lot of this stuff already, including heavy duty bearings. I mean, just look at those bearings. They're all over the place. Look at all these linkages. Big pieces of steel. That's gotta be useful for something. And the whole thought of throwing this away seems wrong. Now, one thing I was thinking with this diverter in particular is if I stripped everything down, I've got a nice metal frame and it would actually make a pretty good little workbench. I've been wanting a workbench recently to build a custom knife sharpening station where I could have all my different knife sharpening accoutrements laid out, ready to go. So depending on the type of knife that I'm making, the way that I'd like to sharpen it, I could just come and they would all be set out and boom, I could just sharpen until my heart is content. Yeah. We have another baggage diverter, uh, three more actually. This again is a paddle type. This one's condensed, but again, a really nice high quality gearbox. All the controls, the control panel, everything is in here. Why would you throw that away? Just check out these pillow block bearings. Those aren't free if I wanted to replace them. This one here is a kicker, baggage kicker. Again, diverter. This one is all pneumatic though. All the valves and relays are inside of here. We've got a really nice heavy duty hydraulic, or sorry, pneumatic cylinder. And one thing I was thinking with this is that I've always wanted to build a pneumatic can crusher just to crush cans and I'm pretty sure I could build the whole thing with what's sitting right here. This one on this side here, again, has all the controls for it. And this is actually a pneumatic bag diverter, but it's kind of like, uh, 
a couple of boxes in here and they telescope out. So a lot of really useful and handy parts. And so that's all going to the garbage, the dump. It's slated to be trashed. Also, I would hate to have to rely on that spare. That's not gonna do anybody any good. Now the problem that I'm having is, and I'd like your input. I don't know if this is really a problem or maybe I'm just overthinking. I've got the room. I mean, I've got a barn where I can store this stuff. I also have the shop. So it's not like this stuff's gonna be sitting outside the elements. But again, I don't wanna be that farmer who has junk sitting everywhere. And at the same time, I don't wanna, you know, embark on a project in a couple months time and be like, oh man, now I've gotta go buy all this material. This was all material that I literally just let go to the trash. So if you were in my situation, okay, storage is not an issue, what would you do? It's tough, isn't it? Tough, tough decisions. You know, a couple of videos ago, I talked about the mezzanine and how I wanted to get that whole area cleared up and it still hasn't happened. So I'm kind of like, okay, you know, the stuff that you do have, you don't even have a grasp on it yet. It's, it's out of control. Why would you add more? But the other thing I was thinking is if I took the time and properly took apart all those components, you know, break them down, you know, take the bearings off and store them on shelves. If I take those pneumatic cylinders, store those properly, all the components, controls, get everything inventoried, I basically would have like a nice little shopping section for building stuff. <sighs> or is it gonna turn into something that I just never, ever use? I don't know and it's a tough one. Where are you guys at? If you, we're in this situation. Would you keep the stuff? Maybe just some of the stuff? Or would you just say, hey, you know what? It is not worth it. Get rid of all the junk that you don't need in your life. Tough decisions. I really look forward to your input. Cheers.